proceeding where we ended last time on the waste disposal and today specifically we are going to look on methods of waste disposal. We are just going to see three types of all three methods of disposing waste. Although we have several methods but we are just going to deal with the three methods of waste disposal. The first one is burning, the second one is incineration and the third one is recycling. Starting with the barring. Barring refers to cover something completely into the ground. In this method, we have subtypes or sub methods. The first one is landfill and dipping. And the second one, we have pit latrine. Starting with pit latrine. Pitting latrine, these are normal toilets. And simply you can call them toilets. And these toilets, they are just dug on the ground. And then something like wood is put on the above and those feathers, all those wastes can be put inside there. In tipping and landfills, starting with the tipping, this is the collection of waste in the dustbin. After collecting the waste in the dustbin, they are going to be dumped. Landfills is the place or area where those waste from the dustbin are going to be dumped. Uh, in landfills, we have two categories or two types of landfills. The first one, it is called open hole landfill. And the second one, it is called sanitary landfill. Open hole landfill, it's just a big place where those waste are, are going to be dumped. But a sanitary, it's a structure built onto the ground where those dustbin, all those waste from the dustbin are going to be dumped. In the second method, it is incineration. Incineration refers to burning something completely. This burning or this incineration is specifically done in the hospitals. For example, waste like placentas, bandages, and cotton wools, they usually burn completely in the hospitals after they have been used. The third method is recycling. Recycling, it means that manufacturing those waste into new and useful products. This, for example, is paper. After papers have been used, they are collected and taken back to the industries where they are manufactured again and produce new products. Thereafter, we are just going to see or to reflect why burning waste is not recommended and why burning waste is not recommended. Why burning waste is not recommended due to the following reasons. Once you burn waste, there are some cases of fumes which they will be produced and those fumes they will lead to the air pollution and maybe they might, they might distract the ozone layer and disturb the climate. For example, the production of carbon monoxide and the second one may be sulfur dioxide. Also, waste is not recommended to be burnt because some materials are explosive. We are going to see why it is not recommended to burn waste. Some wastes are hazardous. Once they undergo leaching,
They may contaminate with the soil and cause soil pollution. There are strategies to reduce waste in the environment. Number one, minimize the use of plastic bags, plastic plates and plastic cups. Instead of using plastic cups or plastic bags, you have to use normal cups and normal plates so that after finishing using them, you have to wash them and use it again. Also, we have to store leftover foods in reusable containers. Instead of throwing in howl, you have to keep the used food or the remaining food in containers and later to be disposed in a good way. And the last one, take the usable bags when shopping. Once you go to the shop, you have to go with your basket or any other useful bag instead of going and take the plastic papers or plastic bags during your shopping. The following are the importance of proper waste disposal. Good public health. Once you perform or you do the proper waste disposal, you will reduce some diseases like cholera and typhoid. Minimize pollution. Proper waste disposal reduces air pollution, water pollution and soil pollution. Also, makes the environment friendly. The proper waste disposal reduces risk of accident to the environment. It is also economy. This is whereby recyclable materials are collected and sold. It reduces bad smell to the environment. Once you burn the waste, it may produce bad smell to the environment. Therefore, it is important not to burn waste so as to reduce bad smell to the environment. After the importance of proper waste disposal, we have also some negative impacts of poor waste disposal. If you practice poor waste disposal, it may lead to the diseases, spread of diseases, and also it may pollute the environment and may cause risk of accidents. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.